So good morning once again. Today we're going to start uh, working on this dynamic amortization table as you can see in the screen. Now, last time uh, for our last session, what we did was to work on this an amortization table. However, it was not dynamic. When I mean then what I mean by not dynamic is that uh, when you when you change some of the details, automatically the table itself changes. So if you take a look at this, okay, this is what I meant by a uh, dynamic amortization table. So last time we were working on a loan of uh, 5 million of which 10% was equity. So we have the uh, amount of finance is 4.5 million. I think, uh, uh, what was the term that we used? Was it 15 years or 30 years? And in terms of dynamic Latin class, was it 15 years or 30 years? Could you find the chat or unmute yourself? Na lang parang sumabilis. Guys? Hello, 15 years ba or 30 years yung ginamit natin? 30 years po. 30 years, okay, sige, 30 years. Okay, 30 years tayo, no? Okay, so you notice guys, ginawa ko 30 years to. Nagbago yung model natin. Kanina, nakalagay ito sa, kunyari, one year lang to, no? One year lang. Notice guys that the amortization table, one year is 12 periods yun. So, so, 12 periods lang siya. Tapos yung cumulative interest, 12 periods lang siya. If I, make, if I make this 30 years, 30 years, and automatically this should be 360 periods. 360 periods. Okay, so our model, the table itself, follows the, our, uh, the inputs that we have. Okay, in fact, pwede natin gawing, ano eh, pwede natin gawing, kunyari, ano to, uh, 6 million, no? 6 million siya. So, 6 million yung ano, six, magiging 6 million yung uh, amount ng principal na babaya. Uh, 5,000, 5 million 400 pala. So, this is a dynamic table now, with an extra feature here that if we pay extra payment, kanyari magbabayad tayo ng ano, ano. So, ngayon, it's 360 months yung total periods to pay, balikan natin 5 million. No? 5 million of which 10% will be equity. So, ang loanable amount lang natin for 4.5 million. Ang, ang magandang technique dito, guys, is if you have extra cash to pay every time an extra amount. But when you pay the extra amount, do not pay dun sa, ano, sa, mga, sa mga payment centers, <coughs> but rather pay sa pag-ibig miso, <coughs> sa pag-ibig office. <clears throat> and tell them that the extra payment is an additional payment to principal. Let me show you why. No? Kunyari ito, dun sa loan natin na 5 million of which 10% will be uh, will be contributed by us. So for 4.5 million ang hihiramin natin. Ang total payment niyan, kung 360 periods or 30 years, is 14.067 million. Imagine that guys. Ang ano natin, ang Ang finance lang natin, ang hiniram lang natin, 4.5. Pero ang total payment, no? pag inad lang natin mga cash payments natin, na of course, alam natin na, na medyo questionable yun theoretically <clears throat> kasi <clears throat> that violates the time value of money. Kasi hindi naman talaga natin ina-add yung mga, ano eh, yung mga different time frames. But just absolute value lang. No? Absolute value, pag inad natin yung, ano, yung lahat ng binayad natin na 39 Oh, 75.69 for 360 periods. The total is 14.067. Uh, ito yung babayaran, babayaran natin kung uutang tayo ng 4.5 million. So, ang laki, di ba? So, it's almost a 9. Ito, ito pala. Yung total interest payments natin, 9.567. Kasi that's 4, 4, 14 million minus 4.5 million. Ito yun. Okay. Now, what we can do is to save on to save on the interest expenses. Pwede tayo mag-extra payment. <clears throat> Kunyari, 1,000 lang. Kung kakayanin na 1,000 mag-extra payment, no? okay, what will happen? You're still going to pay the same 39, pero mag magdadagdag ka ng, magdadagdag ka ng, ano, ng 
14 ng 1,000. So what will happen is that yung 360 months natin magiging 314 months na lang. Okay, so if you can see here in table natin. Okay. Yan, 315 months na lang yung babayaran natin para ma-wipe off natin yung principal. Ma-pay off natin yung, yung, yung loan natin. So also, uh, so instead of uh, magkano na to, kanina 14 point, magkano ba siya kanina? Zero ko to. 14 point, hindi, sorry. So instead of 14 million lahat yung babayaran natin, 12.6 million na lang. Okay? So nakasave tayo ng 1.4 million because of the extra payment. Instead of 14 total, 14 million total, ang babayaran na lang 12.6 million kung every month mag maglalagay tayo ng, ano, ng, uh, ng 1,000 extra payment. If it's 2,000, all the more it becomes very, the, uh, the difference becomes bigger. No? 282 months lang guys, instead of 360. So that's what happens when we have extra payments. Okay, so 282, 283 months, so you can see here, 283 months na lang. Okay, see? Okay, so now you can see guys, this is a dynamic uh, calculator. Dito pinapakita din <coughs> kung <coughs> magkano yung uh, isang taon, kunyari for year one, How much is uh, paid uh, to interest? How much is paid to the principal? Yan yung sa year one, guys. Oh. Talagang sa, sa mga unang years, mas malaki talaga yung napupunta sa principal. But towards the end, kasi 30 years na, no? but it napapaliktad na siya. Mas malaki na yung napupunta sa principal payments as compared to interest. Okay, so this is our objective. We would like to create a table like this. So, Puntahan na, puntahan na natin tong blanko natin na ano na na dynamic uh, amortization table okay so let's fill this up guys let's populate this and create our model okay so yung loan natin 5 million okay mamaya gagawin natin yung may spinner tayo dito let's see uh, sana umabot tayo dito sa spinner no okay so sabi natin 10% di ba yung ano yung yung equity. So, ang amount to finance, this is a repeat of what we did last time. 5 million times 1 minus the equity. Okay, so that's 4.5 million. <laughs> the term, guys, I created a drop-down list here. Okay, ito. One-year fixing, two-year fixing. Galing dito yan. Yun sa pag-ibig, no? <clears throat> okay? I just uh, copied this one. So, paki-chat nga guys, uh, would you know how to create this drop-down list this one? Paki-chat nga kung yes or no kasi kung yes hindi ko na ituturo, kung no I'll I'll uh, go over it. Okay, hindi hindi sa Google Sheet, dito tayo sa Excel. Okay, so I think most of you uh <coughs> Okay, so it, ang tawag dito guys, data validation. Ano yung purpose ng data validation? Ang purpose ng data validation is to limit what can be inputted sa cells na to. Kunyari, if I type here, if I type here Excel. Okay. Ito nga ang data validation ko dito, ano pa eh, nakaka-type pa ako eh. Ng, ng Excel. Uh, but I can make it in such a way that I cannot even type any cell here. No? So if I type Excel here, magsasabi siya, this value doesn't match the validation <coughs> restriction defined for this cell. So hindi niya tatanggapin yan. No? <coughs> I'll just cancel that. Hindi niya tatanggapin yung value niyan kasi hindi siya part ng nasa list. Ang pwede lang ipasok dito yung mga nasa list na to. Yan, 20 year, 30 year. Okay, so this is data validation. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, ito ginagawa ko guys. Ginagawa to by, okay, so you go to the cell, go to data. Sa data validation, and dito yung ribbons na data tools, and dito yung data validation. If you click this, so meron ditong data validation. So don't mind the circle invalid data. Ginagamit natin yan kung sinacheck natin kung may mga invalid data sa 
range yung cells natin. Okay, so data validation. Okay, so dito sa settings, initially, yan guys, <clears throat> any value yan, no? Okay, so let's do this from scratch. I any value natin. Okay, any value muna. Okay, so pag any value yan, guys, you can now put here any, any value. Pwede na yan. Kasi wala nang restriction. Eh. Okay, but if you want to uh, to uh, make sure that only the only a spe specific uh, numbers or text can be placed here, then you have to <laughs> do this again data, data validation. And then here are some options no? full number, decimal, list, date. So, pag nilagay natin date, ang pwede mo lang malagay dyan sa cell na yung date. Uh, for us, we're going to uh, restrict this from a list. Ito yung list natin. List, tapos ang source natin ito. Highlight this. Okay? Ayan. So, once okay. <clears throat> all right. So, may drop down list na tayo dito. Ang pwede lang pumasok dito yung, yung mga naka-identify natin sa list. Okay? Ang, ang, the weakness of this, guys, is that pag nagdagdag ako dito, hindi mare-reflect dito. So the way to do that is to make this uh, make, make this into a table. Pag naka-table to, guys, if, you, if we convert this into a table, then pag nagdagdag tayo dito, automatically magre-reflect din dito yun. Okay, but uh, let's, uh, let's discuss it some other time na lang. Okay, so 30 year fixing. Okay, now notice, ano yung, nasa, ano yung nakalagay dito, guys? Ano yung nasa formula pa? Ito, ano naka, nakalagay dyan? 30-year fixing. Correct, 30-year fixing. Is it a number or is it a text? Text po. Text yan, no? Okay, check natin, ha? So, yung annual rate nito, ang gagawin natin dito, ililink natin siya dito, ha? Kung ano yung 30-year fixing dito, Ah, uh, yun dapat yung naka-reflect na ano dito na number dito. Okay, first guys, uh, periods per year natin 12. Inahin muna natin to. So what will happen if I in total periods natin kasi dapat yung 30 years times 12. What will happen if you multiply the two? Okay, multiply nga guys. 30 year fixing multiplied by 12. What will you have? What will we have, guys? Uh, an invalid value, sir. Yes, correct. Correct. Thank you, Albert. No? Invalid value. No? Invalid value siya. Uh, okay. okay. It's an invalid value. No? Bakit invalid value? What do you think is the reason why we're getting an invalid value? Um, it's, it's, it's what? Kasi text. Ay, sorry. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank Kasi, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sino to? Sorry. <laughs> Shaira, thank you. Shaira, thank you. I think si Albert yung sumasagot na. Si Albert, ikaw ba yan? I think you were saying the same thing, no? Uh, tama ba, Albert? Was it Albert? Ah, si... Oh, si okay, oh, sige. Thank sir, you, Albert. Sir, we talked at the same time po kasi. Oh, nga. Oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank we you, Shaira. We think alike kasi, yes, sir. I don't know. Sorry, Albert. Great minds think alike kasi. <laughs> okay, okay. Parehong wavelength, no? Okay. Salamat. Okay, you're correct, no? Tama. 30 years at saka 12, pag ininultiply natin yan, of course, magkaka-invalid value tayo. Simply because our 30-year our term is text. Okay, but let me show you what I did here. Okay, bakit ito, guys? Tignan nyo. Oh, B9 times B11, I'm getting this, 360. Oh, pero 30-year fixing din yan. Okay. The difference, guys, is that if you if I put go here, sa D9, oh, ano nakalagay dito? Ano nakalagay, guys? What you find here, what you see here is 30 year fixing. Pero ano nakareflect dito sa formula bar 30? So how did that happen? Ah, di ba? Oh, how did that happen, guys? 
Oh, paki-chat lang kung yes or no if you have any idea. Sige lang. Pag no, okay lang guys. Uh, I expect no talaga. Pero paki-chat lang please para uh, I know where you're coming from. Kasi kung alam nyo na, then hindi ko na i-discuss again. Kasi we're, we're, we would like to cover as much topic as possible. So kung alam nyo na guys, apat lang, pakidagdagan naman sana yung mag-respond. <laughs> Sana 20 plus yung mag-respond, guys. So far, apat pala yung nag-respond. Sir, question po. Yes? Um, ano po yung formula to get the 4.5? Uh, 4 point... Million. Ah, ito to 4.5 million? Okay, Apa. sige. It's, uh, it's yung 5 million times 1 minus 10%. Uh, okay pa. So, Babawas natin yung equity. Okay, thank you for that question. Okay. Uh, yan. Konti, konti pa lang. Wala pang 50%. Okay. Good. Good. Salamat ha. Salamat. So, ibig sabihin nun, that's feedback for me to discuss. No? Okay. So, how do we do it? Okay. I-explain ko na kagad para we save on time. Okay. Ang gusto natin, itong 30-year fixing na to, na kinuha natin dito sa table na to, okay, di ba? It came from this list, no? Kaso, bakit 30-year ito? Obviously, magiging text yan kasi text to it. Pero bakit yung dito sa dynamic table ko dito, bakit 30, ah, nakikita ko 30-year fixing pero ah, naka-reflect dito number. Okay, the secret guys is in formatting. Okay? So let me show you how. Ito, ito guys yung mga nasa list natin. <coughs> These are <coughs> text siya, no? 30-year fixing. Now, I can, I can format this in such a way that ang magre-reflect ng talaga dyan yung ang magiging ano niya, uh, type niya is just the number. Okay? Pero ang makikita natin yung dash year fixing. So let me delete this. Delete natin. Pag dinelete ko itong term na ito guys, ang mangyayari dito, wala na laman ito. No? Wala na. Nawala na siya. Kasi uh, dito lang nang galing yan. Eh. Okay, so, so let's highlight this guys. And then uh, control 1 yung sa format. Or sa Mac yata, I think it's command 1. Command 1 ba sa Mac? Para lumabas yung format cells natin. Sa Windows, it's control 1. Keyboard shortcut for format. Okay, so uh, currently guys, ang format ng cells natin na to, it's uh, general. So it can, it can accept any... <coughs> Any type of cells. It can be numeric, can be big, can be text. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to customize it. So, punta tayo sa custom. And then dito, tanggal natin decimal. Now, ito guys yung format ng numbers. Ano? Yan, nakita nyo. Yan yung mga format ng numbers. Yung, yung pound sign na yan, that's a number. So, ang gagawin natin, nalagay tayo dito ng a number sign, comma, number, number, number. Okay? So that that means a, pag may, kunyari, more than a thousand yung number, dapat may comma. No? Okay? And then, uh, I'm going to attach yung quotation. Quote yan, guys. Sorry po yung nakikita nyo. Ah. It's a quotation. Open quotation. And then, ilalagay ko yung dash, then year, YR, and then fixing. Yan. So quotation, and then kung ano yung text na gusto nyo ilagay. Okay, it will follow the spaces, guys, na dinalagay natin dito sa sa uh, <coughs> dito sa text natin. No? And uh, yung quotation dito, guys, it means that it will be shown in the text. Pero ano lang siya, parang uh, visual lang siya. Ang, ang, ang magiging, ang, ang talaga niya, ang type ng ano dito, isa number. Okay, so let's press OK here. Okay. Then if I press here 1, for example, 1. Okay. Notice that sinama dun yung year fixing. Pero number 1 pa rin. Number 1 talaga siya. So 1, 2, then we have 5, then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so it's okay, mga terms natin. So all of these now are numbers. Tino nyo, guys. Numbers na yan, that, that appear as a text. So when you want, for example, that 
uh, a particular cell in Excel uh, appears as a number with the text, pero number siya, then that's what you do. You format natin. So ito, okay. Okay, so tingnan nyo guys, number na siya. So that now, that will now <laughs> uh, address yung, kaya pwede natin i-multiply. Okay, pakichat please kung clear so far or kung my questions. Clear so far, guys. I hope mas mabilis yung response natin ano, para we can cover more materials. And I hope mas maraming mag-respond. Uh, one third pa lang response rate natin, guys. I hope we get more. Okay. And this this time I just tumata galing yung response. Kasi I want I I want a ano a response na ano na more than as much as possible eighty to one hundred percent na kaso. Uh, usually, <clears throat> I I haven't gotten that in this class. Wala pa tayong 50%. Kasi guys, kung yes or no lang yan eh. No? No, kung no, uh, I would like to know kung ano yung question siya. Kung hindi naman nagre-respond, ibig sabihin, baka hindi naman talaga nakikinig. Wala dyan sa station. No? 12 pa lang. No? 12 out of 29 participants. Not even 15% responses, guys. Rethinking question ko, ah. <clears throat> Naitindihan ba itong ano? May question dito sa ano? Clear ba yung, yung fixing na to? Yung text siya? Okay. Pero it appears, it, it appears as a text, but it's actually a number. So clear ba yun, guys? So on your own, kayo nang gawin yan. No? And the improvement among sa responses, but it's still not... Uh, 80%. So let's uh, wait for some more of your classmates to answer the question. Kung, kung naiintindihan na tong ano, yung, yung ginawa natin dito. Okay, a few more seconds before we continue. In case you have a question, class. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's proceed. Ah, okay. Sorry, hindi uh, ko nakita yung question mo. Carl. Okay, sige. Uh, thank you, Carl, for your question. Okay. So let me repeat the process no? for those of you who were not able to uh, to follow along. Okay. Ito, you notice, di ba ito, sabi natin, number siya. No? Pero ang it appears sa text. So how did we do this? So let me delete that, no? Highlight natin to kasi gusto natin tong ilalagay natin dito should appear uh, as a text but it's really a number. So uh, we do the we do the formatting control 1 format. Okay? Pag hindi pa formatted diyan it will appear as general. So we go to, we go to custom and then ita type natin dito number comma number number number. So iba't ibang form sa number guys din ito. So different types of numbers. Pwede rin ma-format ma ma na dollar sign siya. No? Tapos may red yung negative. Okay, so you can study that. 
iba-ibang klase ng anong tas pwede rin percent, eh, pwede rin exponential notation, etc. Ito yung mga dates naman. No? So there are different formats here. For, uh, for our purposes, no? specific yung format kasi natin, hindi natin makikita dito yan. So it's a number sign uh, which is represented by hashtag and then quotation and then ilalagay ko para magka, uh, makadikit dun sa number sign, dash and then year and then fixing and then quotation. <clears throat> okay, so what happens now is that kasama ng number is quotation plus quotation, ito yung text. It can be anything, any ano, any uh, character here, but that will be treated as uh, as an addition to the number, and then the value, the uh, the treatment of this of this whole text here will still be a number. Okay, so okay, natin. So nakaformat na tong mga to. If you press one, two, five, no, ten, fifteen. Uh, 20, 25, and 30. Okay. Lahat to, guys. Lahat to, mga numbers. Siya, yun yun. <clears throat> okay. And since our drop down list is linked to that one, so 10 years, okay. Tinan yung 10 siya, number 10. So we can multiply that. Okay. Uh, Carl, did that answer your question? Nagawa ba? Okay, good. Thank you, Carl, for that question. Okay, baka may namiss pa ako mga questions dito. Ah, okay. Ayun na pala, nag-question na pala si Carl. <coughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Carl. All right. So, let's proceed, guys. Okay, green mamaya na lang, ha? Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, now, ito, itong tenure fixing or whatever appears here, dapat automatic dapat lalabas yung ano dito, yung rate niya. Kung one year yan, dapat lalabas 5.75% yung rate. Okay, what function should I use, guys? Dito sa annual rate. Can anyone uh, guess? Can anyone suggest kung ano kayang function ang pwede natin gamitin dito? Para lalabas dapat dito yung annual rate, depending on the uh, term. Kunyari, if this is, we choose 20 years, dapat ang lalabas na rate dito should be 8.5%. Okay, any suggestion, guys? <coughs> any suggestion? Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, yung if na, ano, yung Sorry? if na, yung if na, ah, if, okay. Uh, uh, handali, ha? If B9 equals, okay. <laughs> yeah, Albert. Okay, ang sinasuggest ni Albert, if statement, no? That's correct. Pwede yun, no? So, ang sinasabi ng Albert, if this one is equal to, uh, isayin natin, no? If, if this is equal to one year, then ang rate dapat 5.75. Then another comma, no? If this one, if the term is two years, that should be 6.25%. Is that what you're, what you're suggesting, Albert? Uh, yes, po, sir. Okay, good, good. Pwede yun, no? <coughs> so, example lang yun, no? Uh, okay, sandali guys. Itong annual rate natin, <coughs> may, ano siya, no? may conditional formatting. So we have to remove this. No? So how do we do that? Go to data, data validation, data validation, and then tanggalin natin list. No? Lagyan lang natin any value para matanggal yung data validation dito. Okay, so we can now put an uh, value here. So it's equal to, if ang sila suggest, if this one, okay, come, uh, if that one is equal to this one year fixing, then it will value nya. Okay, then comma. If again, if this one is equal to uh, this one, then value it through 6.25. Al Albert, is that what you're suggesting? Uh, yes, po, sir. Okay. Uh, this is okay, no? <laughs> Tama. We'll get, this, we'll get the correct answer. We'll get the correct answer here. Only that, the only disadvantage here is that it, it will become very, very long. Lalo na kung mahaba yung, ano natin, yung choices natin. Okay? But we will get the same, the uh, correct answer. So tama yung sinasuggest ni Albert. But 
may I propose another way for us, guys? Kasi if you test, if you take a look at our data, ito yung data natin, ito yung pagpipilian, no? Itong one year, two year, three year, etc. Tapos yung, yung corresponding rate ang dito. Notice that the data, our data is arranged as a, a vertically. No? It's arranged as a column. One year, two year, five year, ten year, fifteen year. Kasi minsan naman pwedeng nakaganito yan. No? It can be written this way. Okay. Control C. And then, okay. pwede na kaganito siya. No? Yan, pwede na kaganyan. No? So the difference between this one and this one is that this is arranged vertically. <clears throat> this is arranged horizontally. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> when your data is arranged vertically and then the corresponding value is, kunyari si one-year fixing, katapat niya, Along the road, ito yung value na gusto natin. Si 30-year fixing, ang gusto natin ito 9.75. So what we're going to use is a function called, okay, is equal to B lookup. Yan, B lookup siya, guys. Kung horizontal yung arrangement ng ano natin, ng data, it's AH lookup or horizontal. So ano yung sabi ng B lookup, guys? Looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. So column, guys, ha? Nakakolam yung ano natin, yung values natin. And returns a value in the same row. Yun ang gusto natin. So kung pinili natin 10 year, bigay niyo sa atin yung value in the same row. Now, pwede yung, yung data natin, pwede maraming columns yan. Okay? So, let's uh, let's follow this. Be look up. So, hindi ko na kailangan i-type lahat, tab na lang. Kasi nakita ko na yung, ano, yung, yung function na gusto ko. Look up value is ito, 20 years. No? Tama. Ano yung table array natin? Our table array is this one. Sama natin lahat ng, yung, ng kailangan. Dito. Okay? And then, kama, index, column index. Nasa ang column, nasa ang, ang ilang column yung gusto nating answer. So we have the first column, ito yung basis natin. Ito yung second column. So that's column number two. Number two. And then, kama. <clears throat> So, ano to? Approximate match or exact match? Since ang gusto natin exactly 20, 25, 30, etc., it should be a exact match. So, you can either type false or zero. Kasi di ba ang false, pwede natin gawing zero yan. But let's just uh, use false and then control enter there. So, 20 year guys, that's 8.5%. Uh, okay. If we change this, gawin natin, check natin kung nagbabago siya. 30 years, 9.875. Okay? And then one year, okay, 5.75. Okay, so I'll uh, pause for a few seconds, guys, uh, for you to work on that. I'll, I'm going to flush the formula. Okay? And then when you're done, guys, pakichat na lang kung done. Okay? That also signifies that you were able to follow it. And also you were able to get your the correct answer. I-check nyo guys ha, kung babaguhin natin yung term, kung pareho ba yung rate na nakukuha natin. Sir, how do you clear the, I remove the list po ulit? Okay, sige. How do we remove the data validation? No? Okay, so... Uh, in order to remove the data validation, so you go to the cell, then data. Uh, in order to remove the data validation, this one originally had data validation. Diba? You go to the cell, data, and then so data tools, yung kina, kanina ginamit natin na data validation, use data validation, and then <clears throat> dapat naka any value siya kasi kanina naka list yan. So you change it to any value to remove the data validation. No? Okay? Yeah. I hope that answered your question. Yes, Pa, thank you. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, uh, doon pala yung question din ni Marco. Okay, guys, pakichat kung ano ha, kung nagawa niyo tong ano ha. Let me flash again yung yung vlookup natin. 
kindly please chat yes or done <coughs> kung okay na <coughs> so that i know uh, when to proceed okay thank you uh, how about the rest guys then you thank you kathleen erin thank you uh, the rest please <coughs> I hope to get more responses. Okay, good. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, yes. Um, I'm having a little trouble removing the young drop down thing, some annual rate. Sorry. Uh, how do you? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let me repeat that. No. So kanina kasi. Uh, uh, kanina naka ano eh, naka I accidentally uh, copied the data validation. Kaya nagkaroon to ng data validation. So how do you how do you remove data validation? You go to the cell. Okay, and then data, and then data validation here. Data validation. Okay. Tapos naka ano yan, naka list yan, di ba? Naka list siya. Kaya may data validation doon na list. So, any value dapat yan. Okay? When you put any value there, matatanggal yung data validation na kanina. So, okay. I see. Thank you po, sir. Okay. Thank you, Albert. Okay. So, I'll give you a few more seconds, guys, to... To do the B lookup. Yan. Okay, baka wala pa tayong kalahati na nakaka, nakakagawa yata. I hope guys you're following in your Excel. Kasi iba talaga guys kung kayo mismo yung gagawa kaysa yung ano, kaysa yung uh, iba talaga yung hands-on. The best way to really enhance your skills in Excel is to do really hands-on. I do conduct Excel training training ano, na, uh, for public in seminars. Minsan, madami umaten, then they're really interested in enhancing their skills in Excel. <clears throat> Although may mga softwares na ngayon na, guys, na really a lot more powerful than Excel. Pero Excel still remains to be a ubiquitous, a ubiquitous tool. No? Ginagamit. Uh, at saka may ano siya, talaga may May lugar siya talaga sa, sa, uh, as an office productivity <clears throat> tool. Okay. So, I think, uh, I hope, okay. I hope you got it, guys. So, let's proceed. Okay. By the way, yung kanina, pag nakaganito, guys, yung, ano nyo, yung, yung data, no? yung, ano natin, yung, yung data natin horizontal wise you use the h lookup just just to show you h lookup function okay ganun din siya no ganun siya pero row index naman yung hinahanap and you get the same answer so depende lang yung guys sa ano sa sa orientation ng data natin okay so we can now our total periods now will be uh, tama na yung total periods natin kasi it's the product of your a term and your periods per year. And then our monthly rate will be you buy your 9.875 natin divided by 12. That will be our monthly rate. Monthly amortization, guys, will be okay, let me increase the size. Okay, notice guys, na itong mga to na discuss na natin to last time. No? Kaya nga, I will I will not be uh, spending too much time on this unless you have questions, clarifications. So we use the PMT function in Excel para makuha natin yung monthly amortization. Ang rate natin will be monthly rate. N per will be monthly periods. PV natin is the amount that will be financed. Okay. Kama. No future value. Type is ordinary annuity. Okay. So it's zero or you can just ignore that. Okay. So this is the amount. 39075.69. So that's the amount that we're going to pay as an annuity every month for the next 360 periods. So pag baguhin natin to, guys, kunyari 25 years lang, magiging 38, no? 
In one year, 386 per month. <clears throat> okay, so our, our value changes depending on the uh, number of uh, years. Blikan natin 30. So therefore, guys, <laughs> yes? Um, yung akin po, negative. Okay. Uh, diba, sabi natin last time, uh, para matanggal natin negative, lagyan nyo lang ng negative dito sa harap. No? Okay pa. Okay. Sige. Thank you for that question. Okay. Any more questions, guys? Clarifications? Okay. So, what will be our total payment? <laughs> uh, I-add i -add lang natin, guys, lahat ng binayad natin. Ha? Although, alam natin, aware tayo na uh, if we're going to consider the time value of money, hindi pa pwedeng i-add yung mga payments yan that occur in different time frames. No? But just to have an idea, guys, kung magkano yung absolute value na ibabayad natin. So that's 39,000 every month for 360 months. No? So that's 14 million, guys. You can just see, you can just imagine, guys. Uh, for a loan of 4.5 million, payable in 30 years or 360 months, you're actually going to cut out 14 million. Okay? So, yung interest yan is the difference between this one and this one. But if you change the <clears throat> term, kunyari 15 years lang, okay, ang laka ng difference, diba? Okay? Three, three something million lang. So, the sooner you, you pay, guys, the better talaga. Mahirap talaga yung masyadong mahaba yung terms. Bakit? Bakit masyadong malaking interest, guys, kung mahaba yung term? It's just consistent with the principle, principle of risk and return. No? Kasi yung, yung, uh, yung financer, yung nagpapahiram, it will assume great, a greater amount of risk by having the term longer. No? Eh, Siyempre, sabi natin, uh, the, uh, the one lending should be compensated for assuming a greater amount of risk. Okay, so ganun lang talaga yun. No? So uh, that's, uh, that's being consistent with the uh, principle of risk and return. Okay? So, sige. Ibalik natin to sa, ano, sa, sa 30 years. Okay. So, now we go, guys, to the, uh, to the body of our amortization table. Ito. Gusto natin to, guys, maging katulad nito. Kasi ito, even the formatting, guys, tignan nyo. Diba? Naka-format siya hanggang 362. Eh. Uh, 283 kasi naroon ditong extra payment. Tanggalin muna natin extra payment. No? So, wala muna extra payment. 30 years. 360, 360 months, 360 months din to. Ito kasi yung mangyayari kung may extra payment tayo. E walang extra payment. So 360 pa rin. Okay, so yung, naka, yung table natin, amortization table, it's still 360 there. Tapos kung, kung baguhin natin to, okay, gawin natin kung yan yung 5 years, okay, so dapat 60 months lang yan. So, yung table din natin, 60 months. Okay? Tapos saka format, 60 lang. <clears throat> so, how do we do that, guys? How do we do that? <clears throat> okay? So, let's, uh, let's go now to our uh, template. Okay. So, for the months, guys, 360 siya. Magsisimula tayo sa 1, no? Okay. Hindi natin pwedeng gawin yung shortcut na ginagawa natin dati. Okay. Sindi na. Can you show the formula for monthly amortization? Okay. Okay, so flash ko lang yung formula for monthly amortization. Okay, this one. So it's negative PMT. <coughs> and then the first one is rate is our monthly rate. Uh, and per is 360. Okay. Uh, present value is our 4.5 million. No future value. And then uh, our type is annuity ordinary. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, yeah. Let me break Muna. Okay. Okay, thank you for the question, Carl. I really appreciate the mga clarifications na ganito. Uh, I really appreciate that. Okay, so <clears throat> let's proceed, guys. Okay. Uh, kasi, uh, thank you, Carl, for asking that question. Kasi hindi natin magagawa itong wala ang laman to. If this, if this is wrong or if we don't have this, hindi mag-work yung model natin. 
So let's start with month one. Sabi natin, hindi natin pwedeng ilagay dito yung, yung ginagawa natin na ano na automatic. If you feel natin to, fill. Diba? Fini-fill natin. Tapos series. Tapos columns. Tapos hanggang 360. Okay? Ito, kailangan kasi naka-type guys. So wala tayong spreadsheet dito. Hindi natin siya pwedeng i-link dun sa cell. So okay. So ito hanggang 360. <clears throat> Kaso, static na yan guys. Ibig sabihin, uh, when our model changes, hindi magbabago yan. 360 lang lagi yan. So, hindi pa pwede yan. No? Control Z. It has to be a dynamic <clears throat> a dynamic uh, model. So, dapat magbabago din dapat yung months natin. Okay. So, sa so first month, guys, <clears throat> whatever the term is, pare-pareho, laging hindi magbabago yung first month natin. Our beginning balance will always be equal to, magkano man yung ipa-finance, papa-finance natin. So this is equal to yung sa D8 natin. No? Our payment will also be equal to our monthly amortization. Ito. Yan. That will be our first payment for month one. <clears throat> and then for the extra payment, okay, ito nakalagay dito. <clears throat> so that's H6. So you notice guys na hindi tayo naglalagay ng absolutes dito no, sa mga formulas natin. Linilink natin dun sa mga givens para pwede natin baguhin yung givens. Automatically, magbabago yung ano natin, yung, yung values dito. Interest guys is, ano yung interest natin? The interest will always be based on the, on the balance of the principal. Since ang principal natin is 4.5, we have to multiply that by the monthly rate, no? Okay, so we can mo multiply it with the monthly rate. Okay. So that's 37031.25. So of the 39,000 guys na babayaran natin, <coughs> natin <coughs> 37,000 will go to interest. Ganun guys, ganun sa simula. No? Lalo na pag mahaba yung term. Ang laki talaga na napupunta sa interest as compared to principal. Okay, of course we want that the principal uh, mas malaki na pupunta sa principal para nababawasan yung principal yung, yung ending principal kasi yung ending principal siya, siya yung nagiging basis ng interest natin okay so what will be our principal payment ano yung ma, mababawas sa principal okay kung may extra payment tayo pag sinam natin tong ano sinam natin tong payment at saka extra payment and then i-minus natin yung interest payment yun ang mapupunta sa principal if we have extra payment. No? Okay. Enter. So it's 2044 yung mapupunta sa principal. Okay. Had we had a figure here, kunyari meron tayo dito, example lang, kunyari may 5,000. Kunyari nag-extra payment tayo na 5,000. What happens, guys? Ang extra payment natin magiging 5,000. So ang mapupunta sa principal, 7,000. Which is good kasi ang mangyayari niyan, ang math and principal natin will be equal to the beginning minus yung pinayat for the principal. Okay? 4492. Since malaki yung nabawa sa principal kasama yung extra payment natin, mas maliit yung magiging interest dito for the following month. No? Sa interest, okay? Okay, sa interest will be the beginning balance multiplied by the monthly rate. So magi incur kasi na interest to. Ang interest rate will be the monthly rate. Bakit monthly rate? Kasi monthly amortization natin. <coughs> Kaya ang mas maganda guys na nakaseparate na yung total periods natin, yung monthly rate, etc. Okay. Uh, all right. Pause muna ako a few seconds. Is everything clear, guys, sa first month? Yung first month, madaling madali lang. No? Medyo magkakaroon tayo ng challenge dito from second month hanggang dulo. Is everything clear with the first month? Pakichat naman, please, para uh, I would appreciate questions, guys, kung may clarifications. Okay, thank you, Denzil. How about the rest, guys? Okay, good. A principal, okay, sige. Ang principal natin, uh, ito, no? Ang principal natin will be Okay. Sum natin yung payment plus yung kung may extra payment. <clears throat> so sum natin siya. 
Okay, yung total payment na yun, kasi di ba magbabayad tayo ng 39,000. That's fixed every month. Plus kung may idadagdag tayo na payment para uh, sa, para ano yun, para ibawas sa principal, ikukombine natin sila. Tapos i-minus natin <coughs> kung magkano yung ibabayad sa interest yun ang mga titira para sa principal. Okay? So, 7,000 kasi meron tayong ano dito. No? May extra payment tayo dito. Kung tatanggalin natin ito, okay, tinanggal ko yung extra payment dun sa H6. So, zero na ito. So, ang mapupunta lang sa principal, 2,000. So, sa first month, if you check guys, kung ilang percent kung mapupunta sa, sa interest, So that's F20 divided by 39. Okay. 95% yung napunta sa interest. No? So yung first month payment natin para ang sakit. No? 95% uh, interest yan, 95% then. Doon sa 39,000 ibabayad natin. 95% mapupunta sa interest. Less than 5% ang mapupunta sa principal. Negative yung principal ko. Bakit negative? Sandali ha. Okay. Ito, ito sira yung formula. No? Isasum natin si payment at saka si extra payment and then minus the principal. Can you check please, Sarah? Kung, ano, kung... Negative yung principal. Andali. Magkano yung payment mo? Saira, how much is your payment? Ah, 25,168. Sandali, ha? 35,168. 35? Sandali. Oh. Check natin. Uh, ano yung annual rate mo? 9.87. Naka 30 year fixing. 30 years, okay. Ang total periods mo should be 360. <clears throat> Ang monthly rate should be 0.8229, no? Okay. Tama? Okay. Plus not, yung monthly amortization mo magkano? 35,168. Okay, so something's wrong here. Check ulit natin, ha? <clears throat> Take a look at our formula. Negative PMT. Tapos ang rate natin should be 0.8229, itong D13. Tapos ang N per natin should be 360 dapat, no? <clears throat> And then our PV should be yung 4.5 million. So, and then walang future value and then annuity ordinary. Okay, what are you getting? I see what's wrong na po. What was wrong? Um, nalagay ko po yung beginning balance as the loan principal. Tapos, the beginning balance? Nalagay po yung loan principal to... Ah, 5 million ang nagawa, nagawa mo. Uh, I changed the loan principal to 450 po kasi. Akala ko yun yun. Ah, 4.5 million tong loan principal. I changed it po to 450,000 po. Ah, 450,000 loan principal. Hindi, 5 million yung loan principal natin, ha? Pinalit. Ah, I thought you were supposed to change it po. Okay na. Apo, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Salamat, guys, sa mga questions, ha? I really appreciate that. Yung term ko, ang question ni Albert, the formatting isn't reflecting sa Excel. Sa term. Okay, wait, ah, huh? wait. Term. Ah, dito. Uh, the thing with the apa, uh, yung year fixing po. It's not reflecting yung number mismo, sir. Dito. Okay, sandali, ah. Huh? Let's. Uh... Albert, present mo ay ano mo? Co-host kita, Albert, ah. Huh? Tapos, could you kindly present your your spreadsheet tignan natin, ha? Huh? Um, 
Sir, baka hindi yung ano, kasi yung Excel ko kasi is naka... Oh, sige, sige, okay. Sige, sige. Naka Chinese. Alright, alright, sige. Uh, Pero, um... <laughs> uh, Chinese ka. <laughs> okay, may see. Okay, are you fixing, may see? Uh, tama hashtag, naman. Tama, tatlong hashtag. Tas, Oo, tama dash, naman siya. Tapos... Oh, ano wait, naka, dito? naka ano ka ba? Naka naka data validation ka? I, data validation. I-click mo nga tong ano, tong drop down mo dun sa ano sa Click mo nga siya oh, dito naman. And punta tayo dun sa ano, sa source mo. <clears throat> Let's go to the source. Ah, dun sa ano sa ayan yan. Highlight mo nga yan. Siya so, test mo nga yung ano niyan, yung format mo, control 1. Hindi, ano oh, yan ang dapat ano mo baguhin. Ah, naka, ano din siya. Oo, kasi naka ano kaya naka data validated diyan eh. Oo. Naka link yung cell mo sa term diyan. Nan sige, ayusin mo yan. Ayun, okay. Okay na yan. Wala pa rin. Hindi, sige, i-drop down mo, drop down mo ulit siya. Wala pa pili, rin. pili ka, pili ka diyan, sige. Ayaw pa rin? O nga, no? Wait. Ah, sandali. Ulitin natin yung sa term mo. I-data validation mo ulit yan. Go to the term. Yan. Data, data validation. Yan. I- nakalist ba siya? Nakalist na? List. Okay. Yan, yeah, nakalist. Yan. Then, okay nga. Tapos M6, M13. Tama. Tama. Ano sir, um, after range. request na lang siguro. Sige, para, sige. Okay, ano. sige. Pero that's strange siya kasi dapat it should already be working. No? Oh, sige, but thank you for your question, Albert. No? Sige, we'll, we'll try to see what uh, what we can do with that. No? Apa sir, thank you okay, po. Sige. Okay, thank you Albert. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Albert, stop share mo muna ha. Oh, pa sir, naka naka end na yung stream. Okay, so ano no, yung uh, uh, I'm surprised guys yung sa case ni Albert kung bakit hindi siya nag-aano. Kung bakit hindi siya nagre-reflect ng ano ng ng as a value na. Maybe we'll we'll try to resolve that. Okay, so dito ngayon, okay, any more questions here guys dito sa ano natin sa first row natin. So let's try to review what we have here. First month, ang beginning balance natin, 4.5 million. Ito yung kailangan bayaran. Ang babayaran na, ang babayad natin, 39. Okay, galing dito yan. Extra payment, wala muna. Okay, anyway, nakalink naman dito yan. Pag anong ilagay natin dito, automatic, makukuha dito yan. Okay, so you can see here that uh, sa first year, uh, sa first year, 95% yung pupunta sa interest. No? <clears throat> Okay, so let's go let's go to month two. Now, if we want, guys, yung mga months natin, if we want this to be dynamic, hindi tayo pa pwedeng maglagay lang na number two dito, number three. Kasi pag ganyan, hindi magbabago yung ano natin, yung mga months natin. We want it in such a way that dapat, pag dinag natin yung formula dito, dapat automatically yun, kung magsa-stop na yung payment, dapat wala na mare-reflect na number. Okay, so let's let's analyze, no? So, kailan dapat magkakaroon ng 2 dito? Kailan magkakaroon ng 2? So, dalawang conditions. Number one, dapat kung wala ng number yung wala ng months dun sa previous, dapat wala na rin ilalagay dito. Kunyari, example lang. Kunyari, one year lang tayo, 12. No? So, pagdating dito, kunyari, one year lang kasi linagay natin dun, so 12 periods, dapat wala na dito. Pagpunta dito, dapat wala na rin. Bakit? Kasi wala na, yun sa previous cell niya, dapat wala, wala na kasi. So dapat sa susunod, wala na rin dapat. There should be no a number reflected here. <clears throat> kasi baka magkaroon ng 12, tapos dito wala, tapos dito magka-13 pa. Okay, so we don't want that situation. So dapat kung wala na dun sa previous month, wala, din, wala na rin dapat dito sa mga succeeding months. So how do we do that? Dito na papasok yung if statement natin. Ito yung sinadjust ni Albert kanina. 
So the if statement, guys, yung, ito yung syntax niya. Checks whether a condition is met, returns one value if true, returns one another value if false. So yung if, guys, statement, tatlo yung kailangan i-fill up natin dito. May logical test tayo, may value if true, tapos may value if false. Okay, sometimes kung mas marami sa isang test, no, magkakaroon pa tayo dito ng another if statement. Parang kanina, yung tinas natin, <clears throat> Yung, si, yung pinakita ko kanina, if the term is one year, ano yung interest rate? If not, check ulit natin, if the term is two years, ano yung interest rate, etc. So, ganun guys yung structure ng isang if statement. Okay, so that's what we do first. No? If, okay, if, if the previous month, okay, is nothing, sabihin natin, kung wala ng previous month, okay, Wala, huwag na siya maglalagay. Yun ang unang test natin. So what does this read? If the previous month is nothing, <clears throat> comma, value if true, give me nothing. Okay? So that's the first test natin. Ano? Sabi natin, kung wala nang laman yung previous month, huwag na siya maglalagay. Okay? Pangalawa, kailan guys, kailan magkakaroon ng ano dito? Kailan magkakaroon ba ng number? Dito sa number, yung sa susunod, sa month 2. Okay, sagutin ko na in the interest of time. Okay, magkakaroon lang na number dito guys kung meron pang math and principal. Diba? Kung may previous math and principal, ibig sabihin may, may utang pa. So kailangan may panibagong math pa yan na para bayaran. Okay, so that's the implication. Uh, if we want to test if the month and principal is still positive, okay, if it has a value. <clears throat> so if it, if it has a value, guys, then then dapat, ano, dapat may month pa dito. So how do we put this, guys? So we will have another test, no? <clears throat> Yung value of false natin will be another test. So if, sandali ha, let me increase this so para mas makita natin. So if, if the previous month is equal to nothing, give us nothing. Huwag na siya maglalagay ng ano kasi wala nang yung previous month. Eh, diba? Kama, let's have another test. If, if, okay. Laki naman pala nito. Right now. If the, the month and principal natin. If the month and principal of the previous month is greater than zero. Okay, kung may value pa yan, ano ilalagay natin? And that, sorry, gawin natin. If the month end is equal to, kung wala na siyang value, okay, kama. Kung wala na value guys yung, ano, yung month and principal, ano ilalagay sa month? Guys, <clears throat> kung wala nang ah uh, yes, kung wala nang value yung month and principal, wala na, di ba? Give us nothing. Tama. Tama. Give us nothing na. Kasi wala na eh, wala nang utang eh. Kung titingnan natin dun sa ano, sa H20, which is the cell for the previous month and balance, if it's nothing, then dapat wala na rin month, no? Otherwise, guys, Otherwise, what will be the value if false? Ano, ano ibig sabihin if false? Ibig sabihin may value pa tong H20. No? Ano ilalagay natin? Ano ilalagay natin sa month, guys? O, kunyari, kunyari, ah, ito, meron pang value. Uh, two, sir. Ha? Ah? Two. two. But it has to be a formula. Hindi natin right. pwede ilagay two. Kasi paano yung uh, next month? No? Um, ano? The previous cell plus one? Yun. The previous cell plus one. Dadagdagan natin ang isa. Close natin. So notice, pag clean-house ito guys, red yung color, ibig sabihin that corresponds to the first if. Tapos there should be another close. No? Para dun sa pangalawang if na pula, na itim. Okay. Kung anong sinimula ng if dito na kulay ng ano, parenthesis, dapat yun ang ending. 
Okay, so i-digest lang natin tong formula na to. Sabi natin, dito sa month formula, dapat uh, hihinto yan kung wala na tayong utang. No? At saka hihinto yan kung wala ng, wala ng previous month. So we're, we're saying here, if the previous month is nothing, wala ng wala na yung previous month, dapat wala na rin yung mga yung i-reflect na month dito. Kasi ang gagawin natin guys, i-copy down natin to hanggang babang baba, hanggang kunyari row 700. No? Para uh, if the in, in case of kunyari 50 years, 60 years, kaya pa yung ano natin, kaya pa yung, uh, kaya pa yung formula natin hanggang ilang months man. No? So the next test if is <clears throat> if the uh, previous month and balance is nothing, kung wala na laman yun, wala nang utang, then wala na dapat month. No? Otherwise, kung may utang pa, B20 plus 1, dadagdagan natin ng 1 yun. Okay? Control, enter. Okay, take note. Ano nangyari? Nagka-month 2, di ba? Bakit? Kasi, meron pa tayong previous principal eh. Okay, but if we drag this down, okay. ano nangyari? What happened here? Tinan nyo, wala na. Kasi yung previous month niya, wala pang laman to eh, di ba? Wala pang laman to. So, wala na siyang linagay ng month dito. Hindi na siya naglagay ng month 3. Okay? Pero mayroon pang previous month, di ba? Oo, may previous month pa. Pero dalawa yung tinetest natin. May previous month pa ba yung, yung una? Pangalawa, mayroon pa bang laman yung, yung month and principal natin? Okay? And since wala na laman yung month and principal, okay, wala na siyang laman dito. Dito, no? Wala na ilalagay dito. But if I put a number here, kunyari 1, ano nangyari? Nagkaroon siya ng 3. Diba? Nagalagay siya ng 3 dito kasi meron pang previous balance na 1. Okay? Dito, dito sa 4, wala rin. No? Although may previous month siya, pero dalawa nga yung tinetest natin, tinitinan din yan kung may, may month and balance dito. Pero pang naglagay tayo ng 1 dito, okay, magkakaroon siya ng month 4 dito. Kasi nga, may balance pa. For as long as may balance pa tayo, guys, magdadagdag pa siya ng month. Kasi ibig sabihin, hindi pa tapos bayaran yung ano natin, yung utang natin. Okay? I hope you get the logic, guys. Pakichat nga, guys, if uh, uh, clear yung logic natin. Yeah, correct. Carl, salamat. Previous month plus one. That's correct. Okay? Good. All right. So, ituloy natin, ha? So, sa beginning balance natin ngayon, how do we now reflect this? Ganun din, no? If, ang gagamitin natin, ibibase natin dito. Kung meron pang month 2, ibig sabihin, may beginning balance pa yun. So if month 2 is nothing, give us nothing. Otherwise, what will be our beginning balance now? Ano na, ano na yung magiging beginning balance natin sa month 2, guys? Okay. Correct, Carl. Salamat, Carla. It's the month and balance ng previous month. Diba? Otherwise, it should, it should be equal to this one. <clears throat> okay? Kukunin natin yung previous month and yun ang ilalagay natin sa beginning ng the, the following month. Do we fix this, guys? Yung H20? No, we don't fix that. No? Kasi gusto natin, pagbaba natin, bababa yan sa H21. No? Okay? So, nothing to fix there. So, that will be our formula. Okay? So, Yun, kinuha niya yung month and uh, principal ng month 1, linagay niya sa beginning ng, ng uh, month 2. Okay, so what will be our payment? Okay, again guys, if, <clears throat> dapat naka-formula din to, if the month is nothing, give us nothing, otherwise, ang payment natin will be this one, the monthly amortization, and that should be fixed. If we fix natin yung row, kasi we're not going to fix the column anyway, pababa yung formula natin. Okay? Right. Any questions so far, guys? <clears throat> okay. Extra payment, guys. Again, if if the beginning month is nothing, give us nothing. Otherwise, any extra payment natin, kukunin lang natin dito sa task. Eh? Whatever the value here is okay and then we have to fix the we have to fix the row 
okay questions guys so far okay thank you all right control enter oops enter okay how about interest guys <clears throat> again if wala na tayong wala na tayong beginning month o wala na tayong month dapat wala na interest no? wala na dapat yan otherwise kung meron pa ibig sabihin kung may month pa ibig sabihin may babayaran pa no? ano yung interest natin <clears throat> It will based, be based on the beginning balance and then multiply that by the monthly rate and naka fix dapat yung monthly rate. <clears throat> there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then, principle natin. Again, if, if wala nang beginning month, okay, if wala na siya, then wala na dapat ilalagay na principle. Otherwise, Kung meron yan, just like our formula a while ago, sum up natin yung payment at saka extra payment. Okay? And then ima-minus natin si interest payment. Okay. Sum of D21, E21 minus F21. Okay. And then we close this. Okay. So that will be our interest payment. Parang pareho lang ng previous. No? Dinagdagan lang natin ito. <clears throat> Enter. Okay, how about the month and principal? Again, if if this is nothing, okay, give us nothing. Okay, then ano pa? What do you think will be our our formula? For H21. <clears throat> Okay. Guys, kailan magkakaroon ng ano ng panibago month and principal? Kasi ganito yung kwento, no? Meron tayong beginning balance. Diba? Ito yung babayaran pa na ano eh, na principal eh. Tapos, magkano ibabayad natin na principal? Ito yun. So, our test is if if this one, if the beginning balance, okay, if the beginning balance minus the the payment for the principal if if it's what if it is ano okay so i think na if it's greater than 0 ano ibig sabihin nun? mas malaki yung beginning balance kaysa sa principal balance di ba Kung mas malaki yung beginning balance kaysa sa principal balance, then what should we do? Ano ang ilalagay natin na month end? <clears throat> then, it should be ano value nyo guys? Yung difference ng dalawa. Diba? Kunyari, 100 to beginning balance. Ang principal 80. So, magiging, magiging magkano yung month end principal? E di 100 minus 80. Diba? Paano kung 100 yung beginning tapos 100 na yung principal? Okay, so uh, gawin natin greater than. No? Greater than zero. Kung, uh, kung mas malaki si beginning balance kay, kay sa kay principal, then ilalagay natin yung difference nila. Otherwise, kung hindi mas malaki, ibig sabihin either equal to zero na yan, what do we do? Give us nothing na. So, dalawang if kasi. So, kung mas malaki si beginning kaysa kay principal payment, mas malaki siya, greater than zero, then kung ano yung difference sila, yun ang isusulat. Otherwise, wala na. Nothing na. Okay, control enter. Ay, it's already time, guys. Okay, so may I have two minutes lang, guys. Tapos sila natin tong ano na to. Uh, Kakapi down lang natin. With your permission, guys, please. It's already time. With your permission, okay lang ba? Two minutes, guys, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys, for understanding. Salamat. Okay, para matapos lang natin to, no? Okay, so let's now, let's now copy this. 
ikakapi natin <clears throat> pababa to. Dadagdagan natin guys ang pagkapi para kunyari kung magiging kunyari 50 years, no? Kunyari kung gagawin natin tong 50 years times times 12. So that's 600. Uh, pwede pang pwede pang ma-accommodate yung 600 periods. So what we're doing, what we'll do is that increase this. Gawin natin ano, up to ano na lang, up to siguro up to 700, no? Yan, up to row 700. Okay, para para yung formula natin can cover kahit ilang okay, 700 na lang. Yan. Okay, what happened? Okay, ano nangyari guys? Do, do you have 361? Meron pa. Oh, nag 361 tayo. Bakit kaya? I-check natin yung row 361, no? Okay, sabi dito sa row 361, if if the previous month is nothing, give us nothing. Okay, so, eh, meron naman yan. And then if 379 yung previous month and is nothing, give us nothing. Otherwise, magdagdag pa ng isa. Okay, ano lumalabas ito? Di ba nothing na to, guys? Zero na to eh. Actually, hindi. Hindi zero yan. No? Let me just show. O, pag dinagdaga ko yung decimal place, o, meron pa siya. No? 0 0.00339 something. No? It's, a, it's a very small number already. However, kasi yung formula natin, ang sinasabi natin, if this is zero, then wag na siya maglagay. Otherwise, magdadagdag pa ng, siya ng isa. Kaso, hindi naman zero to eh. It's practically zero, but it's not zero. Eh, ang formula natin, Binagay natin as zero. So let's modify our formula a bit. Okay. Okay, ulit tayo. Okay. Just, just, just this last one. Let's formula, let's uh, modify our formula a bit. Huwag natin ilagay na is equal to zero. Lagay na lang natin na if H20 is, lagay natin a very small number. If it's less than 0 0.01 na lang. Okay, take a look guys. Sinasabi natin, if the previous month is less than 0 0.01, ang liit-liitan yan, 1 centavo na lang yan, okay, give us nothing na lang. I-drop na niya kasi, uh, papabayari pa ba ng banko yung 0 0.00033 something? No? Okay, so in-adjust lang natin to para let's, to make sure na kung less than 1, zero, 1 centavo na yan, wala na yan, wala nang immaterial na yan. No? Okay, so that's the change that we'll do with our model. Okay, enter ko to, control enter. And then I'll highlight everything again, and then drop down up to hanggang, uh, row 700 ulit. Okay, yeah. Okay, then let's see, guys, kung nabago na yung model natin. Okay, yeah, nawala na yung ano, guys, nawala na yung sa 361. Okay, hindi na siya nagdagdag ng month 361. Okay, uh, for last, guys, paki check na yung model nyo, ha. Kunyari, baguhin nyo to. Gawin yung 20 years. So, dapat 240 lang yan. 240 dapat. That should reflect only 240 months. Okay? So, it's okay with my model, guys? Yeah. Okay, so practice nyo lang, guys. Tinan nyo, if your model is working. If not, PM nyo lang kayo sa akin if uh, you uh, need help on that. <clears throat> okay, now, ganito, guys. Ano? Just a very quick announcement. Kasi we missed, uh, because of the holiday, wala tayong isang pasok. No? Now, uh, by next week, kailangan na natin na ano, kailangan na natin ng, ano, kailangan na natin ng uh, yung, yung continue the lesson. Kasi next Wednesday, we will have to have our second piece already. Now, I hope it's okay, guys, na i-post ko na lang yung lesson for today dapat. Uh, ito dapat yung lesson ngayon, dapat for Monday, di ba? Eh, kaso because of no classes, 